What's going on guys? What does your path to cybersecurity look like? Today, I'm just gonna briefly go through steps A to Z that got me into cybersecurity and give you guys my outline so that hopefully it can bring you a clearer vision of the path that you wanna take into cybersecurity. What's going on guys? I'm Cyber Tom. My channel is all about IT cybersecurity education. If you're enjoying this content and you enjoy this video, please hit the subscribe button. And like always, let's get into the video. So I have a lot of people that are just confused. They want to know where to go in the cybersecurity space. They want to know when I am starting my career or this looks interesting to me. I want to know what to do to gain that experience, to get myself into the field and I wanted to break down my steps and my path um, in a detailed manner so that this way you have a clear understanding when I first started college I really did not know what I wanted to do I knew I wanted to work with computers but I didn't know in what capacity that could be you maybe you're somebody that hasn't started college yet but you're watching these videos and you're like man I really want to get into cybersecurity I think that's something that can interest me well that's kind of where I started. I was just unsure. What I did initially, I just started college. And I think for a lot of you, whatever that may be, times are changing. You know, traditional college is not the answer every time. Uh, there's options for you to start a boot camp training for a few months. Uh, there's options for you to take online courses. Uh, there's options for you to get certifications. Whatever it may be, the point is just start. That's what I did, just start. So I started at a community college where I soon started to realize that I enjoyed computers. I was doing a computer science uh, degree for my associates because that's what they had at the time. Uh, I didn't find out that I wanted security until later, but we'll get into that. So take away from this, just get started whatever you're doing uh, and, and start enjoying the process. You may not know exactly, but enjoy the process while you're there. So as I kept going into um, my years of college and at the time I was learning a lot of software engineering uh, type of information, any type of code or anything like that for my CS degree. After I graduated with my associates, then I moved on to university. I felt like it was the right path for me and I felt like the job market was demanding a bachelor's degree. There are a lot of skeptics out there that will say otherwise today and that's okay. I personally think your best shot into IT and especially cybersecurity or networking is going to be through the path of a bachelor's degree. Uh, I think it's really going to give you a boost in the um, resumes out there and just make you look overall better. There are online courses. You don't have to do traditional routes anymore. So if you want to go on online, I recommend WGU or anything like that. Um, that's accredited. So I got my four year bachelor's degree and in about five years, right? So when I transitioned from my associates to my bachelor's degree, I started finding myself enjoying cybersecurity more than I was uh, computer science. So the coding was okay, but it wasn't what I wanted to focus on. And it takes time to get there. If you wanna to get to the point where you know what you like, you have to experiment. Just whatever you do, don't sit back and do nothing because then you're not experimenting, you're not learning what you like to do. And that's what I think the biggest problem today is they don't get their feet wet. You gotta get your feet wet, you gotta learn what you like. So I started navigating through cybersecurity. I ended up in a class that was cybersecurity based by accident. Uh, I found out at the end of the class I was even supposed to be in there but maybe i was supposed to be in there you know what i mean they say you make plans and god laughs right so i was in this class and i'm like hmm i kind of like uh cyber security i think so i winded up switching my major and i transitioned from a major in computer science to minor in computer science and majoring in cyber security when i got into cyber security that's when my love for it took flight because i started getting into networking classes i started getting into uh, 
uh, foundational security classes, um, learning about attack vectors, how to mitigate, how to find potential threats on devices. And this was stuff that was intriguing me. And that's when I felt like I was there. Some of you may be at that point already where you feel like I'm already there. I love security. And that's great because it took me a few years to get there. If you're there, you're probably at this section of my journey. So as college went on, I finished. I loved what I did. So I graduated with honors and it was because of the passion for the field and, and how much I liked it. So afterwards, I realized that this may not be enough. And a lot of you may have to come to that realization that college in itself may not be enough. And not in today's market, everybody wants to get into cybersecurity. It's just the way of the world right now. And it doesn't look to be going anywhere anytime soon. So you need to be different. You're not going to be first. You need to be different. So what you need to do after college and what I came to realize was that I needed to venture out and get more education and more experience without actually being on the job. And how you do that is with with certifications. Now you can get certifications of many different companies. What I always recommend is to go on Indeed or LinkedIn, search up your certification before you start it and make sure there's a lot of job hits. Compare it to other certifications. Make sure that there is a need for that certification that you're not wasting your time. I did that and the one that came to mind and looked the most profitable and the most return on my investment was the Comp TIA Security Plus. Doesn't mean you have to take it. I always highly recommend it if you're somebody that is new to security. I would even recommend it if you're somebody that's been in IT for a couple of years but you want to learn more about security. So I went ahead and started studying for the Security Plus right out of college. Nobody wants to do that, but that's what you have to do. You have to do what nobody wants to do if you want to get where nobody is. Get yourself some kind of certification to prove that you have some current knowledge about the current IT space. It's vital that you do that. So after I got my certification, I didn't stop there and you shouldn't either. At this point, I felt like not only did I need the degree, not only did I need the certifications, but I felt as if I should have some kind of mentor working with me. I also felt like I should be joining some kind of cybersecurity group to show employers why I'm applying that, yeah, I love cybersecurity and I love IT and I love the work I do so much that I want to do it even when I can't do it, which is out of school looking for a job. So make sure you're being vigilant. Do not just, just sit back and throw in one one or two applications a month. Join a group, find a mentor, but network with people. And that's how you start to get yourself out there and be different than the rest of everybody else. So if you want the job, that's what you're going to have to do. You got to be vigilant. You got to be better than everybody else. And that's how you're going to get noticed. It was at this point that I started getting um, into the cybersecurity organization. Uh, that really helped me network with a bunch of experienced cybersecurity professionals. It was great knowledge for me. I had many conversations with them. It would be valuable to you to do the same. And eventually I got put in their mentorship program and I had a great man who I still talk to to this day who mentored me. He took my resume. He went through it. He said, this is what you need to fix. These are the things that I like about you. These are the things you should work on. Here's some soft skills you should improve on. Here's some hard skills you should probably go onto the computer and get better with. And he continually just raised me up into what a good candidate looks like in cybersecurity. And within a short amount of time, we're about five months out of school now, I got my offer at the position that I first started at. And from there, I went on to learn more about uh, Microsoft 0365, Windows administration, Azure environment, and continue to learn. And that's what it's all about. You just keep learning and keep improving yourself. It never ends. So I hope that that path that I just gave you really sums up a lot of what I did in security to get from A to B. Uh, I was not somebody that in intentionally started college for cybersecurity. I started for computers, didn't know where I was going to end. So this is where I ended. Um, I love what I do. And I hope you guys can look back on this video and say, I, I know a few steps now where I can improve on um, to become a better version of yourself and hopefully get into the field. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, uh, you guys are amazing. I have so much more content coming out for you. And uh, I 
will catch you in the next video. See.